Hi guys, it's Pete here from Idiot's Guide to Caravanning. Um, recently we went to Cambridge to a camping caravan site. Really nice site, highly recommend it. Um, whilst we were away, unfortunately, the microwave stopped heating up. The plate was spinning, but it, nothing's getting warm. So what I've done, I've bought it home, the van home, and I'm going to try and fathom out how to get the microwave out and see what's wrong with it. I mean, I've read it could be a diode, but if it's not that, then I think it's going to be a new microwave. But we're going away soon to the new forest, so it's, it'd be handy to have the microwave working. Um, we've got a few kids in tow, so it's, it's quite a useful thing to have. But um, yeah, so I'll film and see, see, see what happens. Cheers. Right guys, this is the microwave, it's a Dayu. Um, I have heard um, on, on YouTube, not YouTube, Google, that um, quite a few people have problems with this microwave. I mean, to be fair, I thought it's been pretty decent up until now. Um, but my, my opinion will soon change if, it's, uh, if it has packed up. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of wooden surround thing around. Um, no screws inside or anything. So I did see some little uh, these things here, which I've started to peel off. I'm hoping there's a couple of screws there, and I think there's a couple of screws in the top there somewhere. I'm hoping this surround will come off, and then um, we'll be able to get the microwave out and have a have a look. Okay, so uh, I've managed to get the microwave out. Put the surround down there. Just four screws. Uh, some little covers that go on. Oh no, down there. I've got to have to get some new ones. Amazon do them. Um, that switch up there, turn the microwave on and off. Um, but it actually controls that socket, which the microwave is plugged into. So it's got the switch, obviously, so it's not the socket's not accessible. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take the microwave apart. Now, it is dangerous to do this. I am a qualified electrician. Um, so with a bit of luck, I won't zap myself um, if there is any um, electrical charge in there. Um, but yeah, you've got to really know what you're doing to take a microwave apart. I'm not going to have too much of a fudge around. I'm just going to have a little shifty, see if it's, if it's easy enough to sort out. If not, I'm just going to get a new one. Right, here it goes. Right, so taking the microwave apart, um, there's a couple of fuses. There's that one at the top there. I've checked that. That's fine. Then there's this one at the bottom here. It's in this fuse holder. And there's this one that's blown. So, um, we'll do a couple of more, do a couple of days, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, if it blows straight away, then obviously there's something more sinister going on, but hopefully um, it's just one of them things and it'll, it'll be fine. But give it a go. Story to be continued. I have actually just read the important notice on the top of the microwave, and it says this cabinet is covered with a protective plastic film. This film must be removed before using or displaying the oven for the first time to prevent any possible obstruction of the vents. Well, some genius has left the uh, plastic film on, so that may have something to do with the fact it's packed up. Uh, right. Hi guys, so I've um, managed to get the uh, microwave repaired um, I've got some replacement glass fuses, 5,000 volt uh, fast blow fuses. Um, they go inside the fuse holder there. Um, when I took it apart, that had blown one of those fuses. I um, have since replaced that. It blew again, so obviously knew there was something else coming on. Um, so I bought the microwave home and I have bought a replacement capacitor, which is this thing here. And I bought the diode, which is that there. So basically, um, after taking it out, I could see that the end is a bit black in there. And um, so I've replaced it. And yeah, the microwave all works now. So I've just got to put it back together and put it back in the caravan. But I'm well chuffed that it's all sorted now. So it's pretty easy to repair. Um, this is the magnetron thingy, um, that there. Um, they are quite expensive. They're about 60 odd quid repair um and then transform that's about 50 to 60 pound as well so i'm like you know if it was one of those things that had gone wrong i would have written the, the, the microwave off i think really but um as it stands the fuses for a pack of five they're about four or five quid diodes i think they're about eight pound and i've got about 10 of them i think and then the capacitor was 12 quid so all in all it's not been too bad i'm just really glad that it's uh it's repaired but 
if you're not entirely sure what you're doing, you really mustn't be taking this thing apart. The capacitor, um, this is the thing that um, it holds a lot of charge. Even you know when it's unplugged and everything, that will still give you a zap. Um, and you're talking between three and 10,000 volts. Uh, that will kill you. Um, so you've got to be super, super careful. I did, when I re replaced it, um, I discharged it all. And uh, yes, yeah, so it was safe to work on. Um, so you've just got to be super, super careful. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, don't take it apart, basically. But um, yeah, so pretty happy it's all, all fixed. days so that's uh, that's all fixed um i must say i'm a qualified electrician so i wouldn't recommend anyone um to normally do this but um yeah there you go all done so happy days thanks for watching i, I hope you like the video um if you do please like and subscribe cheers mm -hmm.